You are watching another TV with the brand new Apple iPhone 5 here in comparison of course with the black one I have an iPhone 4 and also Galaxy S3 and HTC Desire V which is dual SIM and um, the same size as the Desire X and ZTE Atlas W for comparison so as you can see we have a beautiful new design here's the lightning port then we have also the 3.5mm <coughs> headphone port I'm sorry for my voice actually I was <coughs> in line 26 hours and <coughs> now I sound like I would be a crack addict or something like that but we will just go on my German review went fine with 40 minutes just like this so we have volume control here of course you can regulate how the volume should be on or off of course or your sound and then on and off switch and on the other side there's of course the nano sim port and on the bottom again we have everything that we need and actually it's quite easy to open up you only have to unscrew these two buttons and it should pop up as far as I know so as you can see compared to the Apple iPhone 4 it's quite a lot higher but it's not wider it seems wider but it is not as you can see here it's exactly the same size of course this for different ports and on the side you can also see we have um, now different buttons here or the same buttons but a little bit um, higher <clears throat> on the top no three and a half millimeter co connector anymore and here the sim card reader is also not that wide anymore but looks still quite okay in the um, height so we have the back as you can see it's a little bit more glossy on the um, old one um, I know this is the best comparison but what I actually want to compare you is uh, compare to you is with foil right now on both of them actually that the black one I find it a little bit uh, more businessy and more likely to buy um, in, in Munich they really bought more iPhone 5s in black actually as far as I know a lot more but otherwise of course it has the same features functions and of course let me show to you here the comparison again with black to black um, yeah this is how it looks like and otherwise the black has also on the side um, here completely everything in black so that's actually I think quite a lot more appealing <clears throat> as you can see here from the front again it looks quite beautiful and the black one doesn't only has one extra hole that you can actually see that it is an extra hole so beautiful 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 you can't say anything about that and let's see actually what we have inside the box when you buy it before we go on um, because there's quite a lot of new things actually for example the lightning adapter of course which looks like this and yeah it's quite small it's the same actually on both sides as you can see here so that's one extra feature that Apple wanted to show you and here's the old connector and yeah it's quite a lot smaller and it doesn't have these extra things on the side you don't you don't have the problem that you can put it inside the device the wrong way and it actually still has here a little bit a little bit of a hole on both sides so if you put in the device it in the device like this you can really hang it anywhere and it doesn't fall so this is actually quite nice so this was lightning then we have of course the the power USB power um, here which is the same as in the old one let me put my iPhone down and what's actually of course interesting is ear pods these have quite great sound and compared to the old ones a lot a lot a lot better so it's worth to buy them for $29.99 if you have an old iPhone but want better sound then we have of course the, still the same cable not golden but uh, three connector ports and otherwise volume control in the middle you can answer calls also and of course these look a little bit different they are kind of in ear so they go inside your ear but it's nothing with rubber you cannot lose anything like for example with the these uh, Samsung headphones which are in ear and then also inside all Samsung products as far as I know and they have these rubber things in the front which you can lose but these are actually quite nice for most sized ears uh, my mom for example didn't like them because they were just too big um, she likes the Blackberry headphones so these are the ear pods that's it from actually what's inside the box and let's see what the operating system can do for us slide to unlock 33% battery I did a 10 minute review uh, which had 34% before so 1% in 10 minutes at auto brightness and what else I want to tell you about the battery life is last uh, night I had it at 44% at 6 p.m. 
haven't had it on since then. I know, how can you keep your hands off an iPhone 5? I mean, it's the same as an iPhone 4, but only one row of apps more. As you can see here, nothing special actually, just one row more apps. And of course iOS 6, but you have that also on other devices. And now you can actually see here that I have 33% after about 10 um, hours, no, a little bit more than 10 hours. We have now um, 10 a.m. So you can just count that, but half a percent um, every hour in standby mode with Wi-Fi. And I don't have a SIM card inside, so you can think about that. So let's go to Maps. Probably one of the most interesting features is that um, they have a new Maps. And you can see I have loaded already Munich over Wi-Fi, which is of course not a problem. And you can just go here, zoom inside, um, you can change the angle, of course also. And then you can see here that we have here, for example, in Munich now, these beautiful towers which are bright in the city and you can really use it quite quickly. You can here hit, for example, some kind of company that is on the screen. <coughs> and then you have directions, anything, share location problem and so on. Share location gives you Twitter, Facebook and message, which is I think iMessage or um, yeah, let's try actually the standard browser. I mean, for uh, maps we have seen enough or du -du -du -dum. I don't, that's right on the bottom. Yeah, we are on a German website right now, which is called the Spiegel. Um, but let's go to the New York Times. That's kind of the equivalent. So nytimes.com go as you can see it's not that hard to write it's the same width so what should have changed and you can see it's loaded quite quickly um, and you can of course zoom here inside an article and everything is beautifully readable let's go to an article you can read it flip it okay i didn't want that i wanted this and then you can see it's actually perfect for reading articles you can go full screen like this and wow, it just looks nice. So even outdoors, the display is readable, more readable than my Galaxy S3, as far as I would say. But one another nice feature is the fast processor allows us to use uh, the camera not only um, more freely with HD videos, but also you can shoot not only photos like this. So okay, I don't know, like I have to wait for it to save, but you can do also this. Bam, 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 bam. So this is quite amazing. And the pictures, not always the best. You cannot, of course, ex uh, uh, yeah, accept the best from that. But when you do it a little bit slower, you get p uh, pictures like this, where everything is just really sharp. You can see everything here, example, for the iPhone. It's just quite sharp. You can zoom in even more. And then you can see even the buttons and everything on the black one in the back. So what's of course more interesting also is video function. How good is the focus? Let's try out that. Can go really closely. Maybe to the iPhone. Say I want to focus it right there. And then it just looks so amazing on the screen and later also on the big screen. And let me go out here to the cable. Um, you will see the what I recorded just in a second. And let's stop. 20 seconds is enough. And 16 by 9 screen, of course, allows you to edit better and to have better video functionality also with YouTube and everything else, which is still inside actually iOS 6, but not as an extra app anymore. But you can go to the website and, for example, share also via YouTube, and then the app is inside, so it's a little bit more hidden. So, as you can see, everything is quite sharp, looks beautiful, and the battery is slowly but surely going down 32%. Again here, let's write something um, here with the English keyboard, la, 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 la. so you can see it's quite fast, responsive, and you can type, for example, devil, and devil, tech focus, okay, I misspelled, bam, and it's done. I won't show you Siri, Siri hasn't changed much, so that's actually it from our iPhone five review um, except for size comparisons size matters sometimes as you can see here for example samsung galaxy s3 huge thing let's go to the apps so it looks a little bit the same and you can see here 
Wow, it's just so much bigger and actually thinner also, as you can see here. But it feels a li little bit more plasticky, so the S3 is a little bit um, lighter than the, S than, S than the iPhone 5 as far as I know, specs-wise, but it feels about the same. So, um, what else do we have here? As I said, I have an HEC, which is about the same size, a 4-inch display, a little bit wider, but not that high, a few millimeters difference, and you can see here uh, the difference in terms of size on the top. The displays are the same, and the width is about the same too, and I mean the back is just the back. And then I have something here, which is pretty cheap, ZTE Atlas W, which is kind of an iPhone uh, ripoff, but yeah, you can see here this is more of an uh, iPhone 4 ripoff than 5 ripoff, and it's a lot more plastic, but only about 200 bucks. So, thank you very much for watching and Devil TV. This was the Apple iPhone 5 in black and white in a short test. Here at Endeavor TV, I see the black one is completely turned off anyhow. And until next time, please tune in again. Thank you much for watching and please subscribe on the top. There will be, of course, a lot more coming.